Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm Rich. And I'm Cake. Having our morning cup of coffee. Yes, we are. And look what our cup mm. says. Read it. My cup says, I love you more than coffee. But not always before coffee. <laughs> Who that? <laughs> so what we're going to cover in this video today is... You guys know we are back home from our long vacation, yes. 367 days on the road. Absolutely loved it. Good times, good times, sure. good sure. times. Was never any bad times on the road, but we had some ups and downs. Yes. Uh, well, somebody actually said in one of the videos on the comment section, they said, I know you guys feel good sleeping in your own bed. Of course, but we on the road. We're still in our own bed. Yes, with catches. Catches. Yep. So we're going to talk about what we're going to cover in this particular video. Right. We're going to cover our motorcycles, our bike updates, what's going on with the bikes, trip cancellations, what we're not too happy about, our plans to move forward. But before that, we just want to thank each and every one of you that has taken us in, looked out for us, met up with us, broke bread with us, rode with us. Yeah. You know, just made us feel so comfortable out right on away. the road. You know, we outside, so bugs. We lived outside for 367 days. Not quite. <laughs> Not quite. For those that took us in, when I had bike problem with JetBlue, that was the most saddest part of the now, I'm not gonna say that, well, but it was sad. With 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 that in mind, even the people who invited us to come to their home homes, opening homes up to them, we didn't get a chance to get there. We want to say right. thank you to us all. Obviously, we don't want to name names because we don't want to forget a lot of any anybody. Actually, right, yeah, you know, when you forget names, they're gonna say, "Oh, man, they didn't think about me enough." I but know. it's know. not that because I have a list of names. We're gonna get started. Now that we're back home in California, the motorcycle state, we're going to start it with. Did you say motorcycle state? Yeah. It is. It is. So come on. Started with our bikes updates. What occurred with my motorcycle and her motorcycle? Of course, we got some clips we're going to put in there to show you. On our last day, actually, I think we had less than 200 miles to go back to yeah. get back home. Yeah. We're getting gas and cake noticed some splatter on my back, my rear fender. And yeah, I, I thought it was brake fluid from the rear brake, and it scared me. Fast forward, we get home, park the bike, and a major leak. I'll show you that right now. We are back home, and yesterday I thought I was going to take a ride, and Big Easy want to wait till we get home to start acting a fool. Look at that. Coming from up there. Oil leak or final drive leak or something. So made it to uh, Power Sports, and they uh, bringing their bikes out right now. I got a nine o'clock appointment. Oh, this might be my next ride right here. Yep, this is where I buy all my bikes from. So I know the people here. Bike in, they gonna call me. I'm waiting for my daughter to come pick me up. We are here in Concord, California, at Contra Costa Power Sport. This is where we bought two bikes from these guys. And if I'm looking at that new bike in there, they sell it, oh well. But most likely I'm gonna buy it from them anyway, to maybe just order one. It might be the anniversary of 2025, I don't know yet. With that in mind, my bike is back, it's fixed, and everything's running fine and we're ready to hit the road again. But we're gonna talk about that a little later on. We're ready to hit the road. And even yesterday, we went for a beautiful, beautiful ride yesterday. Uh, had lunch by the river. Yeah, we did. Yeah, <laughs> Actually we did. took a nap, both of us brought a blanket and yeah. laid down and took a nap. <laughs> Just love being back home, but on the same token, love being on the road. Exactly. And with your bike, talk about your bike. My bike, hmm. Let me tell you, I was on leaving New Orleans, heading back to California, I-10 West. Hit a pothole. On the freeway. On the freeway. You know, them black strips that you see, them tall fields, they don't work all the time. So, New Orleans, please fix y'all street. That's why I don't like riding my bike in there. 
But I hit that pothole and hit it hard. Yeah. Rich even said, what was that? Said, yeah, it, it's kind of startled me because I heard the bam. Yeah, it it yeah. sounded like metal to something, whatever the case was. Obviously, through our seniors. And my bike shook. I said, okay, I just hit a pothole. I said, it's all right. I'm not wobbling or anything. So we were good. So we kept on rolling. We get to a gas station. Mm -hmm. And Rich was checking the air pressure in his tires. And he happened to look at Jet Blue and say, baby, we're not going any further. I said, what do you mean? Yeah, yeah like, we might need a tow truck. We're going to need something. I said, a tow. I said, what's wrong with your bike? <laughs> no, not mine. <laughs> Jet Blue rim is bent. Yeah. So the rim was bent. But not enough to where air was leaking out or anything like that. But I did video bringing it into the shop. I got it fixed. And I'm ready to get back on the road again. So we're going to plug that video in also. Yes. I am here today at the Contra Costa and Concord Power Sport with Jet Blue. I had to bring it in because I got to get a rim, a front rim. Was able to ride it all the way back to California, but I was on a prayer in the wing, you know, a wing. Anyway, he was able to get it shipped to me and I would have done it myself because he shipped it with a tire on it, but my jack is jacked up. Get it? My jack is jacked up. It, that's it right there. Look like I went down in the canyon and pop. Of course, every stop we made, I was checking the tire pressure and everything in. And, and no air leaked out of it, so. Now looking at those videos, obviously both bikes are back running full speed. And of course we had our bikes checked up just to make sure when we get back on the road. Right. And we brought them to the dealers that we purchased our bikes from. Well, I did. Well, we got two bikes from that dealer. Yeah, we, we got yours from a different dealer. From a different one. But, uh, back running, ready to roll, and all that type stuff. However, the sad part of this video is there's some things that we actually had to cancel. Some cancellations because once we made it home, well, outside of the bikes, right? once we made it home, we found out we really need to get our house in order. And we'll talk about that in a separate video because some okay. things gonna happen in August that we wanna talk about. Well. Yeah, we'll talk about that in a separate video. <laughs> so we had to cancel something to make sure we get our house in order before we get back on the road. So we're gonna talk about a specific trip that we had to cancel because some places we told people we were gonna be and some of the people were saying that they're gonna be there also. And we right. try to set up something where we can meet other riders out there at some of these locations, but we don't wanna leave anybody hanging and not tell them. Right, you know, it's pretty heartbreaking when you make plans and give your word that you're gonna be somewhere, but then life happens and right. you have to cancel. So we're we're two that loves to keep our word, but this life happening that's happening right now in our lives, we can't avoid it. Yes, so let's let's get to the, the trips in general. Right, the trips. The well, first one we already canceled, that's, that's passing. Yeah, that's gone. So that anybody was, was expected to meet us in? Indio, California. We yeah. had to cancel that. That's gone. You know, it wasn't no bike trip or rally or anything that we was going to. So it just was a personal him and I. But we had told some folks that we were going to be there and we couldn't make it. Life happened. Yes. And the next one is coming up actually next week. Next week. Yeah. And that is the Black Wall Street rally. Yes. And I really wanted to go to that rally. We went last year. And we had a blast, and it's, we still have more to see in that area and learn about the Black Wall Street. Yes. So those of you who go on to Black Wall Street, we definitely want to get these videos out because there was a lot of people that go in that we wanted to meet with, and we're not going to make it. So this is the update of what's going on with our trips right. and the cancellations. Life happens. Yes. Not to mention during that time, that Black Wall Street rally starts, we have a funeral to attend. Life happens. Yeah, one of our friends that was in the chapter with us uh, passed away. Yeah, we call him <sighs> Uncle Walter. Yeah. So. so from the Black Wall Street rally, if we would have made it, we were headed out to 
New York for uh, America. Yeah. Up and, in Lake George. Oh my gosh. Now I know there's a lot of people going to America. Craig Singer's going for sure. I know that right. for sure. And there's a couple of Canadian guys I know going for sure. So if you're going to America rally, what we love about the and we we've never really been rally people, but right. I like them a lot. Right, because we meet the best people at rally. rally. <laughs> but what I like about America rally, just the rally in that area is fantastic. And it's the largest rally. A couple almost. Hold on. There. The largest rally, multiple bikes. It's not just kind of stuck on one particular bike or the V-Twins or this bike. And the riding in the Anirandacks are, I mean, the roads are fantastic. We love it. And we just kind of said that we're going to miss it. We're going to miss the America, but we're not going to miss Lake George. Because we're going up there. Yeah. We just have to move some things around because so, life happens. So make sure you guys pay attention. Uh, hopefully we're going to try to do a lot more Instagram posts. So follow us on Instagram or some community posts. Not too crazy or really doing shorts, but we'll probably do those also as we do updates along the way right. instead of doing long videos like this. Well, we're going to try to keep it short. <laughs> and from that particular rally, if we would have been American, then we just kind of roam it around. And we love roaming around the way we ride. Right. We don't like getting attached to dates. I remember last year's title was Rome in the USA. In the USA. Yeah. Uh -uh. Rome in the USA. Okay. Let me let me let me interject. Okay. If you haven't seen that series, go look at that, especially the Alaska trip. Blast. Oh. Anyway, from there. Oh, words again. From there, uh, another cancellation. That was that was it, right? That was it. But the next as far yeah, as that's, that's concerned, that's one that we are not canceling, even if we have to walk. Yes, we're going to... Canmore, Canada. This will be our third in. time in Canmore. First time with just us two. Second time when we were going to Alaska with a couple people and actually had a blast. And this time it's going to be us two again. Right. Make sure we're going to put the dates up there so if anybody in that area want to schedule a, a hookup or meet up, Maybe go to lunch, maybe go for a ride. And if you haven't seen the rest Western Rockies, you're in for a treat. Oh, yeah. And we're going to record all it. Trust me. <laughs> <laughs> From there, moving forward, we have a lot of time that we, that's that's July. Right. Matter of fact, let me back so up. So back, back up because right, it's another one that we're probably not going no, to No, no, ain't that. I ain't getting to that yet. Oh, okay. What Get you into getting into? The things that we were planning on going but wasn't set in stone. Cause we had them on the calendar that was basically june because we're going to be still in california in june right pam bam the yd9 motor vlog meetup and the one that traveling tall run right running for the hill running to the hill we wanted to go to all those and i'm afraid we're probably going to miss each and every one of those because we're not going out until july now after that go ahead after we come back from canada after we come back from canada because we are people who don't ride 1,000 miles a day, we're not going to make the national roundup. Oh, yeah. And we really wanted to. We was trying to work something out because we've met some people at the national roundup, the first one that we've ever attended in Perry, Georgia. And those people have become our cousins. We still in contact. We have been on cruises with them. We've been to their homes. We broke bread. We contact each other on the phone, Facebook. We're really, really in contact with them, yes. and we're gonna we're gonna miss it. We, yeah. we're gonna, I mean, we're we gonna could get it if we ride but, 800 miles a day, but the way we travel, you know, that's of not course. Happen. But if anything changes, you know, we'll let you know. Yeah, we we usually do the max of 750, 760 miles, and we done that coming home yeah. from this trip because we want to get it home quicker. But on the normal, we don't do that. No. So we're probably not going to make that. No, but we're going to see them. But one place that you wanted to go to for lunch, but kind of oh. far. <laughs> Me? <Right>. Not mine. <laughs> no, no. y'all. We plan on, I, I, after, we come back from, after we come back from Canada, we plan on actually ripping up the East Coast, up and down in that area, and trying to get to Maine. Yeah, because I need some lobster in my life. A big, huge yeah. lobster. I'm, I'm good. Yeah, we're going to Maine. You get your own this And then from there, we're going to ride, kind of waking our way down, up and around with no specific plans right. until we get to Charlotte, South Carolina, right? Is it Charlotte? 
Yes. That's North Carolina. Not, not Charlotte. Not that Charlotte. It's um, Charleston. Charleston. Charleston, South Carolina. Charleston, South Carolina. So we're going to be there. We're going to put the dates up and we're going to be there for, I think, four days. Probably a week. A week? Yeah. We're going to stay because we're going before and then we always stay after. That's how we do when we go to rallies. We like to arrive the day before and stay one day after. Or whenever. So we're going to do that even though Charleston is not a rally. We actually meeting up with some people. We'll let you guys know that as it comes closer. So make sure you continue to watch the channel yeah. and all that good stuff like that. After we leave South Carolina, we got some time in between because that's around the beginning of September. End of August, beginning of September. So we got so Labor Day weekend. Yeah. So we got September to roam around, and then we going right into October, which leads into. Mike Toberfest, Daytona. We yeah. are going there. We Actually, really liked it. We got our room. Matter of fact, the things that we're doing, that we're telling you about now, they are already paid for. Right. Even we had some cancellation that was paid for and we got our money back. Uh, always there's some, some twist to think, well, we can't get 100%, but we got some money back. But we absolutely love Mike Toberfest. Now, don't get me wrong. The huge one that we've been to the first time that just passed was... Daytona Bike Week. Yes, brother. A thrill. We love that. Oh, every single thing about it. Oh, yeah. On the same token, okay. we were told Bike Week was bigger than Bike Tuba Fest, and we've been to Bike Tuba Fest once. This will be our second time going there, and we got our room already. We still love that area, and we still love how they put things together in there. It's a little smaller. Right. But we're going. We will be at Bike Tuba Fest if all goes well. If life don't happen. And from Biketoberfest, we actually bypassing oh, Thunder Beach. Should have put that up early, but yeah, we bypassing right. Thunder Beach rally. We don't we don't want to attend that one. I mean, we liked it when we were there. We actually hung out with Slappy Adventures, so make sure you check out his channel. Love how he just get down and don't mind doing stuff, jumping in the water, doing all exactly. that type of stuff. Exactly. Oh, he had a ball. But we didn't like the rally per se enough to go to back, back again. And it was my understanding, which I did not know. I did not know that? that there's a Thunder Beach rally in the spring. Oh, well, we'll so, have to check that so one maybe out. Maybe we'll check that out yeah. depending on how next year goes. Right. But we bypassing Thunder Beach. We're probably going to just kind of stay in Florida, hang out with our family because we got family in Florida and a lot of, I want to say MCs, <laughs> DJ stuff. A lot of motor vloggers and motorcyclists lives in Florida. So to the motor vloggers that's out there in Florida, we'll be looking you up. We spent a lot of time in Florida this time, way more than we wanted to. Don't get me, we love Florida, but we wanted to do a lot more. Hopefully yes. winter this year. Uh, we'll be warmer than last year. Or the fall, because we from from Oktoberfest, we continue mm -hmm. on bypassing Thunder Beach, and we are going to the one out there in Texas, Lone Star Rally. Lone Star, Galveston, Texas. We're going to that one again. We actually love that one. We actually meeting and actually have a bed and breakfast with Roadrunner of Buffalo Soldiers yeah. in, in San Antonio. And my brother and his wife gonna be there in the same. And our cousins, but I think they're motor. No, I was talking about where we stand. Oh, where we're yeah, staying, we yeah. We're in the same yeah, bed and breakfast. It's gonna be a my brother who rides also been riding forever. I mean, this dude is a monster. He was born years. riding. Yeah, and <laughs> born to roll. <laughs> But, but okay. and then, yeah, like Kick said, we're going to have some the cousins there that we met at another rally that we went on the cruise with and all that type of stuff. They're going to be there, so we want to make sure we hook up with them because we missed them the last time we were there. Yeah, yep. We just kind of bypass each other. So we're definitely going to be there. But after that, that ends in November. It start Halloween, right? Halloween. It start Halloween. And it, three days over in November. Yeah. And from November, where we go from November is like uh, like this. Yeah, since we don't have any darts. <laughs> I have a comb. We got. I do. I do have a coin. We're gonna <laughs> we're gonna kind of roam around after that and then see where it goes. Hopefully, hopefully we'll put up more like you said updates. Right. Some short updates, Instagram, throw stuff on the community page, and see where we go from there. So that's all I have for right now, unless you're forgetting anything. Um, I'm not hearing something back there. Probably oh, just him, cat. I know. But it, <laughs> some hot coffee on you. No, I don't have anything. I think we covered everything. Okay, that's all we want to cover today. A quick 
bike update, trip cancellation, I'll plan to move forward and say thank you for those of you who, you know, what we said earlier, and we want to actually meet with more people. I don't know that's some of the best times that we have when we on the road actually meeting with people. Exactly. But if you are riding, remember, ride long, ride hard, ride strong, but most importantly, ride safe. For Boots and Jeans Riders, I'm Rich. I'm Cake. And we out. Peace. Who that? Not hot no more. Not before coffee. <laughs>